Does this exoskeleton make my butt look big? This here is the all new Densis X1. A brand new exoskeleton that just came to the market that is funding right now. So if you guys want your very own, check out the link down below in the description and together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out. Not familiar with this exoskeleton here it's actually a great way to go ahead and assist you on a day-to-day -day basis and even give you a workout by assist simply hitting the button like this you can go ahead and hear it moving about now i am barely lifting my legs and it's literally helping me with full force as you can see by the app here it gives you an exact readout of what is happening the moment you stop it'll even give you a nice graphic showcasing exactly what is happening in real time not only that, you can go ahead and switch between the two different modes. This here is workout mode. So now what happens is when I lift my legs, ah, it will actually increase the tension, giving me a full blown workout without actually having to use any kind of machine besides the one strapped to your legs. <laughs> so yeah, today we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out. So if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. So let's take a quick look at the information about the company that made this product. The company's name is Denzis Innovation Co. Ltd. and it was founded by members from Segway, DJI, and Xiaomi. Before establishing Denzis, the founding team had developed multiple products that are multi-million selling, including Segway hoverboards, scooters, and even the Lumo robot. Now the Densus X1 is actually an exoskeleton specifically designed for outdoor enthusiasts, aiming to enhance the ability of people to move in nature. Okay guys, so check it out. So this is the packaging, this here is the box. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, so this is everything that you get. So we have our X1 right over here. Actually, it looks really cool, very really nice and compact. Now, we've previously used some exoskeletons before, and those are a little bit more bulkier, but similar concept overall. Now, this one actually came with two battery packs. I'm not sure exactly how many you'll be getting in production model, but uh, this here is a 22 volt uh, 1050 mAh battery lithium ion and then it does come with its own charger which is this guy right over here so they do it include a b6 neo smart charger usb pd dual port uh, and then you do get the usb-c port charger right here uh, over here it's going to be an extension cable and then over here we have a port to connect the battery to the back unit of the particular x1 uh, it does come with, I believe these here are the uh, wider or longer uh, bands in case if they need it, if you have bigger legs. And then you also have your front clip for your battery would be this housing here. So this will be kind of like that kind of number holding it in place. Now, in terms of the quick start guide, this will show us how to go ahead and set this up. So you have your power button on the back, you have your power socket, which is gonna be connecting uh, with this particular device right here. So this is the, the extension that connects the battery to the socket. Uh, we have our telescopic link, uh, which is also on the back portion here. So this will expand, uh, giving us that telepathic link feature. Now I do see some carbon fiber overlay. Pretty neat. It does have a really sporty edge. Uh, you see that more in high-end cars and things like that. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you have your left and right motor, your left rod, your uh, right leg rod, uh, left strap, right strap, left cushion, right cushion, your ECU, which is going to be this back portion right over here, or essentially the brains of the whole operation, your force level button, which is going to be the button right over here, uh, mode button, which is on the uh, left side, and then uh, the right side is a force level button, and then the motor styles LED, which is also indicated right below it. You have your tension adjustment knob for the particular straps, and then your right leg plate and your left leg plate. So. It does seem quite overwhelming. However, I can tell you this, it is actually a very simple concept. Think of it as a belt with a utility belt that's kind of less on steroids. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just take a quick look at this. And uh, pretty nice. I love the materials on it. Nice little metallic black finish. You have this great looking elastic. Uh, and then you have this high, high strength Velcro, which is cool. Let's go ahead and set this thing up next 
and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead and adjust this based on your current uh, size. So we're gonna just kind of guess, and I'll see just like right there, they do have a chart, but I'm just too lazy to look. Uh, so we're gonna open this up, and then this will go around our waist like this. And we're gonna make it nice and snug. Seem about right. Now uh, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this clip here. This is for our battery. So just place it right there, that works. And then from there, we're gonna put on our leg braces. So this will actually kind of elastic around it, just like that. And then from there, you'll just go ahead and push this down and dial it till it's nice and tight. We're gonna do the same thing with this leg here. Place it here, wrap it around. Okay, so now that it's nice and tight, should be good. Not much wiggle room, but I think we're good there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our battery and I'm gonna place it right over here and then take this, plug it in here. And then this guy here is gonna go on our back. I'm gonna plug that right there. So now we're all set and ready to go ahead and turn this thing on. So to do that, there's a on button here on the back. We're gonna hold it. That there indicated that it just turned on. Double click the back button. And I actually feel a little bit of a pull so as it's just kind of calibrating. And there we go. <laughs> so what it's doing is it's actually yanking my leg up. Think of it like a puppet. And essentially it's providing assist. Now, when I do that, it'll actually kind of make it a lot more lighter on my feet, which is essentially helping me kind of move about. So this here is gonna be our app and you can see it kind of loading up. I've already connected to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and search it via Bluetooth and Paired just like that in a matter of seconds. Now from there I can click on this and you can see what's happening. So right now we're on assist mode and it's at gear six. Now I can actually see what was happening in real time. So the amount of force and the, and the amount of cal per minute power. So in terms of the full, this here is 100% power. And then as I scroll down here, you can actually see the speed, the hip ROM, like degrees and stuff like that. Uh, one shows the right leg, one shows the left leg. So that's kind of cool too. So it does give you a good like graphical breakdown of what is happening. Now I can turn off assist, press the buttons here like this, and I'll go ahead and turn it off. Now it's off. Now we're in workout mode. Workout mode is actually the complete opposite of an assist mode. So it's actually creating tension. So when I'm applying force, it's actually pushing in the opposite direction. And you can actually see, again, in real time, what is happening. So you have your workout mode, oh, man. And then you have your assist mode. So both of which actually either help you or essentially do the complete opposite and kind of create tension, uh, making it a little bit more harder to move, uh, thus by increasing or bettering your workout. And then I can also adjust, again, the workout as well from the button here on the side. and the six different levels, just like that. And then on the top right here, I have my settings. So this will just show like updates and things like that. Overall, pretty cool. And I have to say, it's actually a really nice product. Definitely makes you feel a lot lighter. And of course you can use this weight training. I can see it definitely being a great attribute. Now, obviously this is just me kind of walking in place. Let's go ahead and put it to the test and see what it is on the treadmill. All right, so this here is just gonna be a quick little test video. So right now we're just walking without any assistance and we're gonna do a quick little jog and see how we can get up to speed. All right, so kind of have an idea. So now we're gonna go ahead and kick it up a notch. All right, so we've initiated our assist, so <laughs> this should be interesting. All right, so yeah, that actually is pretty good. 
It actually made it significantly easier to run. So yeah, it kind of shows you that this thing works perfectly in terms of being able to exercise, to enhance your speed, and of course your endurance. All right guys, so we're outside on this beautiful day. We're gonna go ahead and try this out in the outdoors as this is what it's designed for. So let's just go ahead and try it out and see what we can do. <laughs> Let's do a race between the go-kart pro by Segway versus this. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, a really cool design concept. I love the fact that it's super easy and super user-friendly. The fact that it actually does perform by actually lifting your legs and providing resistance is a great tool, nonetheless, to say. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.